we are going to be attacked. There's going to be a lot of interesting things going on. I'll tell you what I hear, so this way you motherfuckers know what's going on. I know 100% that there's so many YouTubers out there that wait for me to talk in order for them to do their little spin and start talking about it. It's already pathetic, it's sickening, it's embarrassing because they're fucking men. And I hope their fucking wives are fucking their neighbors. So, it's real simple. I'm just going to stick around much longer. And I want to see motherfuckers get vaporized in this. Because as you're seeing now, people that were supposed to be holding, they ain't holding. People that were supposed to be with the apes. That's, that's another thing. Just because I didn't jump on this channel and fucking Adam. Now, I know some of you are already saying Master Lorian did another hit piece on Lou vs. Wall Street. Trying to take him out, discredit him. But, I think this video may surprise you. Because I'm actually going to back up Lou on one of his points. And I think we're missing one piece of this video from yesterday, Lou's mic drop. That we really need to explore a little deeper. And that I have started to dive into earlier today. But, before we get into that. Cue it. It took 11 months and 18 days, but as of about 24 hours ago, I think we have our first whistleblower. Ape Nation, good evening. It is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022, and uh, I pulled up this video from last night, Lose Mic Drop video. I found something interesting in its contents. Now, I understand he made this because he was basically calling out some other YouTubers, and saying this has been, you know, lose game from the jump. He's the only one that knows what's going on. And I'm not here to debate any of that. That's all debatable. Lou could be the greatest uh, financial guru of the AMC movement of all time. When this is all said and over, I have no idea. But what I can tell you is I think people are missing a piece of this video that I've heard Lou talk about before, but... He said it so many times now that I got to start looking into it a little deeper than I was previously. And I think it's important. And I think you guys will understand where I'm coming from once we roll the film. Let's move past that. Here I am. I'm realizing that A, YouTube has a bunch of idiots. YouTube also has a lot of motherfuckers that for breadcrumbs, for nothing, you can pay them a couple of fucking hundred bucks and they'll sell their mother. Listen, I understand they're trying to get me to, you know, Get agitated and quit. I actually got two things for you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Breaking news. One, I was offered straight out, face to face, in a fucking bank, and I have somebody that could confirm it next to me, a fucking a lot of money to deliver you motherfuckers to them. Gift wrapped. Okay, let me say that again. I was offered. What do you want? What do you want coming from a bank? You know, a bank could put an account anywhere in the world, and at the end of the day, I would have walked away clean with more fucking money than you could ever get in this squeeze of. Now, before I get any lunatics or keyboard warriors jumping down into my comment section, telling me that what I just heard with my own two ears twice is not what he said, I'm going to go back and play it for you again, and I want you to open your ears and listen. Take it all in. Get agitated and quit. I actually got two things for you motherfuckers. <laughs> Breaking news. One, I was offered straight out face to face in a fucking bank and I have somebody that could confirm it next to me. A fucking lot of money to deliver you motherfuckers to them. Gift wrapped. Okay, let me say that again. I now listen, he's going to say it twice in case anyone is going to say that I'm mischaracterizing or taking him out of context was offered what do you want what do you want coming from a bank you know a bank could put an account anywhere in the world and at the end of the day i would have walked away clean with more fucking money than you could ever get in this squeeze and five more let me tell you something i didn't take that money i didn't sell t-shirts cups or any of that bullshit 
at the end, I stay clean in this play. So I can talk to you and tell you things that... Now, I have to commend Lou. I think it is very admirable that he did not take any money from these banks. Uh, but what he says in the clip here does concern me a little bit. The fact that he knows that there are YouTubers out there who are taking crumbs from these banks, these same banks that are offering Lou exorbitant amounts of money to sell out the retail crowd to his millions of viewers. Uh, that concerns me. And the fact that I've heard this from Lou many times, but yet we've never heard anything about Lou taking action or Lou reporting this to anyone because this seems like, well, first of all, I would like to know what bank offered Lou absorbent amounts of money in front of a witness to sell out retail. Again, I say thank you, Lou, for not taking it. But I would like to know, what did you do after that? Who is that bank? I could be banking with them. Half of your subscribers could be banking with them. Who is that bank? And who are they? They're so influential that they would try to get you to sell out retail for some undisclosed amount of money. I think it's important we get to the bottom of that. And I think it's something that maybe we can't leave to lose hands to do. He's very busy. So I'm going to take it upon myself to try to get to the bottom of who this bank is. So from what I've been able to gather, this is going to come under the Internet Crime Complaint Center. It'll actually be an online tip. And it will be for violations of federal law, financial crimes specifically. And it's definitely not going to file under Internet Crime Complaint Center because Lou's just doing what he should be doing. He's reporting it to retail, letting all of us know. But now I think we need to go a step further. Determine who this bank is. How much of retail is banking with them? How much have they offered to what YouTubers that have possibly been... Going along with this whole managed event and possibly leading us down the wrong path and somehow cutting down the price of AMC in the last couple months, who knows how many people could be involved. And I think until we get some tips and some information to the FBI about this thing happening, this event occurring, uh, we won't get to the bottom of it. We won't know. So this is something we have to follow up on uh, and see what the FBI can find out and see if we can determine who this bank is, how big of a role have they played in managing this event, this squeeze, and what is it going to take to put an end to what they may have been doing this whole time. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go for now. I will be back with you tomorrow with uh, any updates that I possibly have, and I'll also have some other information that I'm looking up uh, about quantitative easing in the Fed back from 2008 that I found extremely interesting. You might as well. Guys, thank you for all the comments, the likes, the views, the subscriptions, the new subscribers. I'm going to answer all the comments by tomorrow. If you've commented the last couple of videos, I promise you will have an answer tomorrow. I apologize. This is Ape Nation. I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out.